All right, guys, what's going on? Mike here. Got more batteries. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I kind of just buy batteries before I really have a use for them. That might kind of that might sound kind of silly, but I don't know. I have a weird obsession with batteries, especially lithium batteries. So in these two boxes here, we have some special batteries. These are batteries I haven't got to use yet, but I've seen a lot of them floating around. Um, so we're gonna open up and I'll show you guys what they are. Ooh. Got one. Oh, got two. All right, so let me bring you guys in closer. So what you're looking at here, so what you're looking at here, I'm sure some of you guys are familiar with these, but these are Headway 8 amp hour, supposedly 200 amp, uh, 200 amp discharge rated cells. So I bought two bundles of these, 48 cells per module. So we have a total of 96 of these Headway cells. These are used, supposedly recovered from some sort of equipment somewhere and apparently not extremely cycled. So actually they have a date code right here, 20, 2020. 517 to 2020 so they're only what two years old three years old um, but yeah anyway so these are headways 8 amp hour 200 amp I want to build an electric dirt bike at some point or electric go-kart or something really powerful electric using a QS mid-drive motor right and right now I really don't have a ton of super high power batteries um, the next closest thing I have is, and we made some razor dirt bike and electric bike batteries out of these these are freaking awesome um, and they're really good. I really like these. I, I enjoyed building these. These you can spot weld together. But these are really nice because we're going to take this apart and you're going to see that these just screwdriver together. And then this whole assembly has busting like really nice copper bars and comes with those like wiring harness and stuff. I'm probably not going to use this. You could just link these together, wire them up correctly and use them as is. And you get a really nice, you know, setup like this or whatever. So that's cool. But yeah, I want to take these apart. I'll have 96 cells total. And if I break that into a 48 a volt pack will have a pretty decent pack and I believe that these are each 1.2 kilowatt hours each so 2.4 kilowatt hours of storage right here and as you guys know from my other videos on my solar generators so we got these these are lithium iron phosphates those are lithium iron phosphates inside here's lithium iron phosphate and the cool thing about all these cells is they're all different configurations these are really big and heavy you know good for solar and these could also be used for solar. These are heavy too. However, because of how much discharge rating these have 200 amps per cell, if you put, you know, you know, two of these in parallel, you could potentially pull 400 amps. I don't know the exact specs, but they say 200 amps. They're written everywhere on the internet. So I don't know. I'm really excited. I don't think I ever pulled nearly that much out of these, but I am very excited to test them out, build a battery and, you know, kind of show you guys how we're going to do it. Now, like I said, I think the best thing about these, I will show you guys is on either end, sorry, my mouth is dry. On either end of these, there's actually like Phillips head screws. So to make these is super easy and I actually bought some some actual bus bars this time. So that's it, I think I'm gonna get some tools out. We're gonna go, I don't know, maybe take one of these apart. We'll do some voltage checks and kind of see what we can see. Also, while I'm at it, I'll give you guys a small update on the big five kilowatt hour, oops. This is the five kilowatt hour Sino poly battery built in one of my other videos. Check that out if you haven't checked it out already. I'm still charging this thing. Now granted, I only charge it when I get home after work and I use my ISDT 8Q8 Max. So right now I'm pulling power. Sorry, the GoPro doesn't focus. I'm pulling power out of this one. This one's at 80%, oops, sorry. So this one's at 80% right now. So I'm literally pulling power out of this through that and into this pack. So it's kind of recharging batteries with batteries, but that's kind of cool. And I'd also want to do a review soon in the future about this little charger this thing is freaking awesome but anyways just a small update on this thing i haven't really done anything with it uh we still got to add a bunch of stuff to that so that's going to be in a future video all right we got our meter set on dc voltage and i'm, I'm guessing these are the live bus bars right here okay yeah 26.54 and then the other one 26.58 so that's what they're sitting at right now. Like I said, I believe these are configured in a, uh, I wanna say it's 8S configuration. Not entirely sure, but anyways, let's take it apart and kind of see how it's put together. Okay, here are the bus bars I also bought. And if you're wondering, I got these from Battery Hookup. I don't know if I said that already, but I got these from Battery Hookup and I also ordered 20 of these, which may not be enough to build a battery with, but I just wanted to try them out. So I have actual bus bars for once. <laughs> and all my latest projects, I haven't used these. I've done it the hard way, so. Kind of excited to do this and i believe with these and these cells and a bms i mean you're golden you can kind of make whatever you want so all right i got y'all set up in my drawer i guess i'll start by cutting the tape off i don't know how to do this and i'm kind of scared because these are still live so 
I guess if I screw anything up, you guys will get to see it on video. Let's go ahead and get some of this tape off. Okay, yeah, so you can kind of see right here, those are the... So one, two, three, four, five, six. You have six cells in parallel, then they parallel a couple of strings of these to give them the voltage. I think they're 8S. I could be wrong, but... I want to say these are 24-hole modules. And then every four cells in series gives you a 12-volt battery on a, with lithium iron phosphate, essentially. I'm sure you guys are familiar with that. And then the cool thing about buying, if you buy headways used like in this setup, these are like about five and some change dollars a piece. You can buy these used just the cells, but you don't get all this extra stuff. Even if you don't plan to use this, I mean, you get all these nice copper bus bars and voltage sensing wires. And I think you can like this connector right here, you can literally connect this right to a balancer and then you have your discharge right there. So I might keep one together and then I want to take one apart and we're going to clean all the cells up and do some different stuff with them. So that'll be cool. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with all this extra stuff yet. I might not have a use for it, but... And then I'm not really sure how to take this apart, so you guys are going to have to kind of bear with me if I don't... If it, if it looks like I don't know what I'm doing, it's probably because I don't. And I don't want to short nothing out. See, I wonder how they connect them right here. I wonder if there's maybe a stud in there or something. So that'll be interesting to see. This is the balance harness. More tape. I don't know. I guess I'm just going to... Okay. So these are the screws we got to get out. So I guess I'm going to take all these out and then we're going to take these Phillips heads out. So I'm going to do that right quick. All right, got power drill. So guys, if you're going to do this at home, be careful. These are lives. If you short these together, you're going to get the full power of 200 amps or actually more than that because there's a bunch in parallel. So just be really careful if you're going to do this. Or if you don't know what you're doing, don't. Make it a little. You want to go outside? Frolic. All right, where were we? But yeah, guys, I, I really do enjoy these videos, and I do appreciate all the comments and all that stuff I get. You can give me criticism. If you think I'm doing something wrong, don't be afraid to call me out. I can take it. And uh, if you have questions or need advice on your systems, ask. Uh, I don't know, I'm going to help you out a little bit. I'm definitely no expert, but I've been around these uh, things for a little while. I think I know a couple things. See, I'm tempted to just cut these off because these little Phillips heads are kind of small. Let me see if I have a bit. I believe the Phillips head on these is you need like a pointier one. No, that's not gonna work. Uh, let me go dig around and see what I got. Okay, went ahead and swapped a, a fresh battery in the GoPro. I don't have a screwdriver to get these off, so we're just gonna cut them off. It's fine. These are thick, these are really nice. Holy crap. Nice thick piece of copper right there. Snip, snip, when I snip the balance lead on these two pieces as well. And I'm sure you could cut these up and uh repurpose them as you see fit. But yeah, guys, apparently these headways are awesome. So I'm glad I finally got some. Come on, man. Um battery hookup has a ton of different ones that have these cells and 8 amp hour, which are these, and they have a 10 amp hour, they have a, maybe they have a 12, and I know they have a 15 as well, so really, really big. I guess I'll try pulling this up. Oh yeah, there we go. That's doing something. Um, oh wow, look at these long bolts. Hey, you get a ton of cool stuff if you buy these, uh, if you buy them like this, you get a lot of neat stuff with them. And it, it seems to be the cheapest way to get into headways. So, I'm excited to see what we can build with these. And my hardest decision when I get new nice batteries is what I want to do with them. I want to build, like, a portable power bank. I want to build an electric scooter or a bike or... Because I love anything electric, really. I can kind of do anything with these and be happy, to be honest with y'all. Okay. So, that's it. We got this cover off. Got these long, foot-long stud things. Put all this over here, put this over here. I'll probably hold on all these little pieces, like I said, just because we can probably do something with them. See, I wonder how these are connected. They have to be like a stud or something. It doesn't turn. So I guess I'll flip this over very carefully. I'm gonna get the other side. Bus bars undone. Oh God, these are heavy. Heavier than I thought they'd be, that's for sure. That, I guess if you had to pick a drawback for lithium iron phosphate chemistry, it's the energy density. It's not quite as good as a uh, as other lithium chemistry, it's a little heavier, but the trade-off is better cycle life most of the time. I, I've noticed you get more, a lot of the lithium iron phosphate stuff rated higher as far as cycle life, so, I mean, not to say that normal lithium iron batteries aren't very very good, they're extremely good. But it seems like you get a lot of cycles out of these things. Crap in the house, it doesn't seem too much reef about it. My garage is full of uh, car stuff. I do a lot of awesome car stuff and RC car stuff on this channel. Okay, so there's the top cover with all the wires and stuff, so I'm gonna finish getting all these wires off. 
there's like a temp sensor. So that's a temp sensor on the batteries. I'll finish cutting the rest of these balance ones, cut them one at a time. So it's not to short anything. I'm not sure what this is. Oh, that's another temp sensor. Wow, so there's tons of temp sensors on this thing. So there's the other side of the battery with the balance harness. I'll put this to the side. We're kind of left with this big module. Let's we'll tape off. And these are the bottom to those studs. So this goes from the back. The studs go through the front and clamps the whole assembly together. These are kind of dirty too. So once we're done getting them apart, we're going to clean them and I'll show you all the final product. Mm, okay, so yeah, they do unscrew. So this is going to be tedious. Bam, and there we are. There's our headway cell. Okay, these aren't too bad. They're pretty light actually. I guess when you have 48 of them, they add up. So anyways, I'm going to get these all unscrewed and I'll lay them out for you guys. And then I'm going to kind of fast forward through the video a little bit. Um, I guess I just grab these. They're really hard to just grab. Look how dirty my hands are. Hey, really, I twist the crap out of them. Hey, sorry, my cat's hungry. Okay, there we go. He's nice and fat. I promise y'all, he's not starving. Damn, I don't know. I'm really twisting the hell out of these things. Oh. Okay, so these are the studs that connect them, so oh, I don't want to lose those. <clears throat> oh, hell. There's no real easy way to grab these, and I don't want to put tools on them. <clears throat> I'm going to flip it over. Ah. I don't think there's any videos I've seen of people disassembling these, so... <clears throat> nope. <clears throat> Come on, man. Damn, guys, this is not easy. Oh, not camera over again. I have to figure something out. I don't want to get pliers on you. I don't think I have a choice. I'm going to get some pliers. Oh, I got some squeezers. I don't know if this is recommended, so do this at your own risk. Okay, that could work. Just do be really careful if you're going to use any tools on these. You don't want to mess the cells up. Because then you just have a bunch of crap you can't use. Yoink. This one's got a little bit of a tear in the plastic, but that's not a problem. But just be careful because I'm pretty sure the entire outside of this is either negatively charged or positively charged. <clears throat> Man, it looks like a lot more cells once you kind of get them out. Look at this. I think it should be 48 total. And I believe these are 200 and some change dollars. It comes out to about five bucks. It's a five and some change per cell. And that's the cheapest way to buy headways as far as I know. These are used, but supposedly they're not super used. And if you know anything about lithium ion, like lithium phosphate chemistry, they normally last a pretty long time. So I'm going to give them a shot. I mean, they were pretty affordable. You could buy these brand new and they're all kind of a lot more expensive. But like I said, on Battery Hookup's website, they sell these in 10 amp hour and 15 amp hour, as well as these brand new or used. And the used ones are normally tested. They're normally pretty good about testing all their stuff. All right, last set. Oh my gosh. Jeez. All right, I'm gonna lay all the stuff out and show you guys what you get. All right, guys, got my super... All right, to go over what we just went over, this is the Super Beast Headway Module you can buy on Battery Hookup. You get 48 of the 8 amp hour Headway 200 amp discharge cells. So I took one of the... I bought two modules, so I went ahead and took one, and I completely disassembled it. So if you look, this is all the goodies you get if you buy them in the big module like that. So you get all the terminal screws, you get the little... These are to join the cells end to end. Bus plates, big copper plates, like the main discharge plates right here. These cell holders, this one's I didn't clean up, but everything else I went through cleaned up, these long studs, the spacers and everything. And then these are all the actual cells. So you can see I kind of went through and cleaned them all up and, and these are really, really nice cells. So, so that's what you get. If you buy one of these Super Beast modules, you get everything you see here and this is what it all looks like taken apart. So I have not a clue what I'm gonna do with these yet. However, I'm freaking excited. As you can see, it's a thing of beauty in my opinion. So 
And these copper bus bars will all be useful. So you can use all this stuff, I believe, to make another battery and cell holders. And not only that, but I have a 3D printer, so I might be able to print me some cell holders to make these into whatever configuration I want. So in a later video, we're gonna make a pack out of these and do something with them. I have a couple electric bikes, hub motors, uh, maybe even a solar storage battery. I don't know, but I really like to put a pack together and maybe do a capacity test on some of these and just start testing the cells and kind of see, you know, the state of the health and all that good stuff. So I guess that's going to be it for this video. If you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys think of the headway cells. I'm really excited to use them. If you've used the headway cells before, let me know what you built with them. I'm genuinely curious and I don't know. I'm really excited. Like I said, I really like, sometimes I just end up buying these batteries just because. So this is what you get and this is what you get if you take it all apart. So Thank you guys very much and I really hope you enjoyed the video.